She doesn't even have a name yet, and she's lucky to be alive. Zookeepers at Nuremberg's zoo separated this four-week-old cub from its mother, Vera, when she was seen carrying it in her jaws and dropping it on its head. Up until now, we did not have any indication that the mother does not take exemplary care of her cub. Therefore, we clearly favoured a natural upbringing. Just recently, we had clear evidence that the mother did not behave correctly anymore, and therefore we intervened. It was a decision played out in the German press. Just a few days earlier, two tiny cubs were killed and eaten by their inexperienced mother. Wilma was the bear in public disgrace. Nuremberg zookeepers came under fire for letting the cubs die. But the decision to intervene in Vera's case triggered a larger ethical debate. Should nature be allowed to take its course? What can I say? I think it's not very different in nature where the animals are on their own. Should they interfere here? I don't know what's right, but I think what they're doing is OK. Comparisons, of course, are being made with Canute. Rejected by his mother a year ago, the cute, cuddly cub was reared by zookeepers. He went on to become a media darling, making magazine covers and postcards, spawning an industry of furry toys. Canute's even got his own TV show and is being pursued by Hollywood producers. Zookeepers say the new cub is female. German tabloids say she'll have the same star appeal as Canute. In polar bear crazy Germany, they're already predicting a perfect romance and the world's first celebrity bear pair. Becky Anderson, CNN, London.